A fall air mass continues to dominate the region. I am student meteorologist David Wynn with a look at what you can expect for the rest of the week. We'll first take a look at a live view of Mount Nittany and you can see that we do not have a cloud in the sky as high pressure is currently dominate the region. The current temperature is 55 degrees with a dew point of 43 degrees and winds are on the light side coming out of the north northwest. So we are on the chilly side this morning as we do have that north northwest flow. But we'll now take a look at the rest of the Commonwealth and you can see that much of the region is coming in at the mid 50s at this hour with a temperature of 56 degrees back in Pittsburgh, 59 in Erie, and in Philadelphia is coming in at 60 degrees. So the majority of the state is on the chilly side, but as we do head into the afternoon hours, I do expect temperatures to warm up a little bit and things will start to feel a little bit warmer. Now we'll take a look at the uh, temperatures for the nation and you can see that the majority of the states are in the mid 60s and 70s with 80s back down along the uh, southern coast with 83 degrees in New Orleans. But notice the cold air in the northwest of the states. That is uh, basically a sign that fall is finally starting to make its way in as we are starting to see that cooler air work its way in. So as we start to transition into fall, we will begin to see this colder air continue to work its way in. And as a result, things are really going to start feeling much colder pretty quick. We'll take a look at the uh, current radar and you can see that right now, pretty much the northeast is on the dry side with not much in the way of clouds as high pressure is dominating the region. But notice that we do still have that cold front that moved through in the beginning of the week to our northeast. And this will continue to push on out and we will continue to see dry conditions as we head through the week. We'll take a look at the eye on the future and you can see that today and tomorrow will remain on the dry side with clear skies as that area of high pressure continues to dominate the region. But notice that a disturbance does pass to our south on Thursday and that will cause some passing clouds on Thursday into Friday, but not much in the way of precipitation. So we will remain on the dry side through this weekend. So things will be pretty pleasant, but will be pretty chilly during the overnight hours. We'll take a look at your seven day forecast and Tuesday and Wednesday will remain mostly clear with highs in the mid 70s dropping down into the mid 40s. But on Thursday, I am expecting an increase in clouds which will linger into Friday and that will cause temperatures to warm down slightly with temperatures around 70 degrees. But as we work our way into the weekend on Saturday and Sunday, expect sun and clouds with temperatures to remain in the low 70s but our cold front does arrive on Monday, so I am expecting some showers with temperatures in the lower 70s. That is all that I have for today for the Campus Weather Service. I'm student meteorologist David Wynn. Have a great day.